Good day, I'm Clive and welcome. Part eight of my storage build for my hiking and camping gear and my YouTube studio now. Now, I haven't put a video up for about two months. Uh, I've done a couple of little bits here and there. And in the other videos I've made, you've probably seen things change behind me and in the camera shot. So I thought I'd give you a quick rundown now then tomorrow when I get time I'll be doing a little bit more then the next day I'll do a little bit more so the video is going to be made up over four five maybe six or seven days but I'm going to do my best to keep it at a decent level where it's not going to be too long first thing you could probably see in the background is I've got shelves up now the last part we only had these up here and I was just starting to do the doors if I remember rightly but we've got the shelving up and I've got lighting installed on the shelves. Now what I've done is all the lighting along here now is all the same brand. So it all gives out the same amount of light and sharpness and all them things you get with the lights. And the bottom set for the actual shelves is a completely different uh, brand of lighting. That's because I couldn't get the same as the top. And I think it's turned out quite nice because this set isn't as bright as this set at the bottom. So that just lights that small area up pretty nice. But this set here is lighting the whole cabinets up, the work areas up. So that's actually worked out better. Well, what else have I done down here? I've been talking about when I put this together about the top shelf the whole length of this all the way down to here so we've got about 2.6 2.7 meters of space in the top half of this cabinet and what I've done is I've put my sleeping mats my self inflating ones that were up there I'm in the home now in there so, so this is what I'm on about I actually finished this door which goes on here it's a nice decent set size bolts on it some nice chunky looking hinges made out of the same material as most of the counters and the back in or over here it's the fence paling now with it being the fence paling it's not made to be nice, flat, perfect. It's just so you can bolt it onto the posts to make your fence with. Nice and easy. So it's a bit twisted, a bit warped. So I've got to open the doors one at a time. So we'll start at the far end when we come to opening it. It makes it so much easier. Give it a shove. That's the first one down. Give it a nudge, second one down. And if you look down the line there, I don't know if you can see on the camera, it actually comes out further and further as you go down. Now the last one. And as you can see with the hinges at the bottom, this door now opens by dropping down. So there we go. At this end, I've still got some of my tents to put that in there when I was doing something. But all my mats, I've got some air mats here. But I've got the self inflating ones now, come all the way down the cupboard. See at the back there, it's all been panelled. There's soundproofing behind that. From this side, you can see all the side is closed off. So. Nothing can get in there, so they're nice and secure. And that's what it looks like in here. I am thinking about putting some lights in here, but I'm not certain just yet. I don't think I really need it at the moment. And these are the shelves, again made out of the fence paling, so they're not perfectly flat and level. I am thinking about just putting a small bracket up here to hold the ends even though they're fairly strong. Do the same down the other end. 
small bracket down there. I've just got them on. These actual shelf brackets are rated to 90 kilos. But we still get a little bit of movement. Let's get you there in the shelf. So I'm going to be putting a fascia on the front here. It's probably about 80 centimeters, 75, 80-ish. And that'll actually add some more strength by actually connecting it straight into this. So it's going to be nice and secure and it's going to be strong enough for anything I'm going to store on there. So Same over here. Do the same with this one. Have a nice chunky looking fascia on it. So it all matches and it'll be about the same size as this one coming down here. So I've got a yellow light in here now. Swapped it from the white one to the yellow one because I didn't really need the white one. It's just a nice softer look. What have I got to do? Well, I've still got to do the back in here and a bit in the corner, which I still haven't got down to yet. See all the soundproofing and the panelling at the back. Got to do the same on the cupboard at the bottom there, which will probably be one of my first things to get done in this video. And that way I can put some of my camping gear in there. I've got the wood to make the doors, so I'll probably put the door on. And with this one at the bottom, that's going to be coming up. And I was just thinking of getting one of those, uh, the hook and eye things. So when I lift it up, I can just hook it on one at each end. So it can hold that door open whilst I put stuff in and take it out. Three days later. <laughs> well, I spent the weekend working on the storage here. And lost all the footage. The little SD card came up corrupt and... Yeah, the whole lot went. So this video really is just going to be about what got done, not I was doing at the time and showing you as I went. So I'm going to quickly go over, show you what I finished off, why I'm doing what I'm doing now. And then I'll start a new video with a new SD card and get a load more done. Now, I've shown you where the shelves had gone up, the lights had gone up, and what I got done so up to that point. So I'm going to turn the camera around, that, camera around now and show you what I did over the weekend and what needs to be done. Okay, I showed you the top cupboard there, and as you can see from here, I got the bottom finished. Just need to get two more of these bolts down here, one to go either end just to make it nice and secure and if the wood does start to warp I could just keep it locked closed and still looking, locking half decent. Inside this bottom cupboard I did the soundproofing across the back you might be able to see some of it here that just sticks to the back of the actual wood and stops the noise coming through here or reduces it by about I don't know about 90, 90 odd percent so with it being in the cupboard as well, with the things in there, it's just going to make it even quieter. I've still got to go across here, finish with the soundproofing, and put the wood here, which I have plenty of now, and you'll see why in a moment. Now this is why. <laughs> this corner cupboard, I've done it down to bench level. Now I've been looking at the cupboards up here and down here the doors and I was not happy with them over the weekend so I decided I'm going to redo all these here with more wood but the actual wood from these I'm going to be using for the back of the shelves with the soundproofing on and to continue up here because that corner cupboard the top part and this part is all soundproof now. I've just got to fit the shelf in that one, but I'm going to do that after I've finished down the bottom, so I've still got easier access. But all the bits of wood can continue from here on the back with the soundproofing, 
all the way along to that corner. So none of this wood's going to go to waste, it's going to get used to back the cupboards off and for the soundproofing. What went in the bottom cupboard here? Now, you can probably see with the hinges, the top one comes down and this bottom one now comes up. I've got to get a little gate hook or whatever you call them because this one lifts up and I just want a hook to hook it on here to hold it in place. Now this is the Oztent RV5 with all that goes with it apart from the ground sheet to, to protect it. I've still got to put that down the end here but I've got a couple of bits to go in there underneath the ground sheet. But that's the RV5, five person with tag along, awnings and everything fits in there. And that means the room that that was in now has extra room. Oh, squeaky. I also did over the weekend, I was playing with, I just had it up there. I actually attached this. The noise reduction, the take away the echo and the noise. And this is for when I'm making videos in here because just putting this in here has made a big, big difference to when I'm talking, it's reduced the echo, it's putting them doors on there, that made a big difference to the room. It, technically it's actually smaller now, there's less space in it. And I'm going to be doing the same up here. That's just a test piece to see how it fits and it fits basically to perfection up there. So I'm going to take that all the way around to the edge of the shelf, the same as I did there up to this point. Same down here then, and I've decided on the shelf, these two shelves, this one here and this one here, is to put some black carpet on it and then fit the fascia on the front. So, that's what I got done over the weekend and how I did it and what's in there. So I hope you enjoyed the video. I'm going to call it an update to what I've got done. So, go down. Hit the subscribe button if you haven't already. Hit the notification bell next to it and select all so you can be notified of all future videos. Hit the like button, the thumbs up. And if you are already a subscriber, again, I thank you very much.